Hi, I'm Brendan Short. And I'm Wyatt Siminski. And we are currently on the Virginia Episcopal cross team. And a question that came to our mind was, sure. <laughs> is there more force on uh, artificial turf or grass? Because it seems as if that there are more injuries on turf, and we were wondering why that was. Um, we're going to take a skateboard with grass on it and use a cleat to fling it backwards versus turf. And we're going to figure out, using equations, to figure out how much force is exerted by each one. Okay, at, our, after we did that, we found out that there is more force on artificial turf than real grass. And if we didn't, well, we did, that's what our hypothesis was. And so we got that right. And what else? Um, Phil is the man. Oh, yeah. We borrowed a skateboard from Phil, so we have to give him credit. Um, we dug up grass behind our school to put on a skateboard. And it was really interesting because we got to use the Newton's third law. We're going to use a flip cam in the video and then just measure it by frame by frame to see how long it took. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> we were going to upload that. But unfortunately for us, the f our flip video is not currently working. 